Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel, Christmas. Now, you have to admit from looking at my channel, you will probably know that I'm Christmas obsessed. Let's just put that out there. <laughs> so it is time for another Christmas update of what's happening, what's going on. Today, I have really just felt like I really wanted to capture this on my channel. As you know, my channel was all about like a, like a live journal capturing the good and the bad in my life generally and it's the sort of an uh, up or down of the bumpy road of life and i capture this all on my youtube i i really really love keeping diaries i love keeping everything written down but my youtube channel is kind of like a virtual sort of journal for me and for christmas it's just fantastic today i really really wanted to capture it because today really really hit my heart and it's just been an absolutely incredible and incredible day and it's absolutely lovely so Monday uh, being tomorrow, so that will be the 16th of December, has been 25 years since my family and I lost my granddad. Um, now, I was only one when he died, and do you know what? Throughout my whole life, I've always wondered what it would be to know him. And I feel I do know him because of what I've learned from my family, particularly my mum. It was her father, so um, of course I've learned a lot from her, and my nan, being it was her husband and her life partner. Now, I've learned a lot about him. But it never ever stops me thinking what he would have actually thought of me. Now, if you've ever watched my channel, you'll know that I'm very, very dedicated to my nan and I'm very, very close to my nan. Um, I'm a very family oriented person, but my, my nan, I'm very close to and I always have been. Bless her, now she has Alzheimer's and she has advanced Alzheimer's. Um, and that's really, really hard for me to say. And for a long, long time, I always and, and still do now sometimes feel very, very guilty of going on and enjoying things in life because of what my nan has to go through. But do you know what? I try to be there as much as I can and I see her very, very often. I see her as much as I can and I see her weekly and I do all sorts of things for her. And I with my mum, I try to keep my nan as my nan once was and we try to keep things as how she would like to be. And um, it's kind of guessing, I suppose, but we try to sort of continue things how she would do things. And you know what? Today was just absolutely amazing. Every year, I try to leave it for about the first week, maybe two weeks before Christmas, so now it's perfect. And I always put my nan up a lovely Christmas tree and I, and I change her room in themes throughout the year. And you may think, that sounds a bit strange. It's not. So for Easter, I try to do my nan's room out for Easter. I try to do my nan's room out for Christmas, for Halloween. Me and my mum and my brothers and and a sort of uh, the close sort of selected people that see my nan all the time um, know that this is something I do and I absolutely love it. And I've spent so, so much time researching of how to keep uh, somebody with Alzheimer's, a loved one with Alzheimer's, really sort of really quite switched on, really, really enhancing their cognitive abilities and helping their memory and helping their focus and their skills and helping them remain them as long as possible. So that's always been my thing. So at Christmas, we fill her room with poinsettia plants, with a Christmas tree. Uh, I put all my nan's Christmas cards all up over the walls, and I really try to really try to keep it there that it's Christmas for my nan, and it means the world to me. So today I've done that, and I always feel so humbled, and it really, really always touches my heart. I never thought my nan, bless her, is 93, and I didn't think that I'd still have her this year. And um, today I. I bought my nan this medium, quite large Christmas tree, fresh Christmas tree, it smells look beautiful in a lovely, lovely pot, and I decorated it with decorations and I positioned it in my nan's room. And for anybody who knows with Alzheimer's, the, the direction of concentration sometimes isn't always there. And as I was, I was decorating this tree and then I put it literally right in front of my nan, bless her, she still sort of necessarily didn't kind of quickly sort of take on to what it was. And then when she did, um, and she has good days and bad days, and today was a fantastic day. And um, and then when she seen it, she went, oh, in a really high pitched voice, just like how my nan would. And um, just seeing her face light up and for those few seconds. And then she looked to me and, and I could I could see the smile. I could see the warmth and I could really see the love. And that just is incredible. And I, and I love that. I absolutely love that. Um, and that. And that's why I do it, because she means so much to me. So that's partly why today was so, so special, and that's why I wanted to capture it on my YouTube channel. But first of all, um, I, I explained that it's my, uh, tomorrow, Monday the 16th of December, will be 25 years since we lost my granddad as a family. And what we've done this morning is my mum, who I'm very, 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 very close to, and my uncle, 
who I love spending time with as well. Um, I am myself and my mum purchased a fresh berry reef, um, which was absolutely stunning. And we laid that this morning on my granddad's grave and tended to his grave and made sure that looked lovely. And that was lovely as well. And I always say like a bit of a prayer and I always sort of talk to him just like my nan did as though he's still there. And um, and that was quite special. And that means it means everything to me as well. So that was lovely. And then that with my nan today was incredible. And when I left my nan today, I always kiss my nan on the cheek and I always say to her, I love you, nan, and take care and I'll see you real soon. And just as I went to leave and pull away from my nan, she started stroking my face, which was just incredible. And you may think, what's her communication and things like? Well, very often it's it, it differs, but she's still as my nan and she still looks exactly like as my nan. My mum, bless her, keeps my nan's appearance up, just how what my nan would be. Um, but of course, it's inside not necessarily looks. <laughs> so my mum keeps my nan's hair up together, all coloured and exactly how she wanted to be. She never wanted, bless her, she wishes to say she didn't want to dye grey head old lady. <laughs> so my mum is always, and I try to help as well, try to keep that up together. Um, and, and my mum keeps her all in exactly the same clothes and things as well, like what she would have worn. Um, very, very stylish lady, very, very glamorous. And that's what we try to keep her as. But of course then, sometimes her communication isn't very good. And sometimes I like to think that she knows me all the time, but I'm not so sure. But today was a good day, which is amazing. Um, and if I can get her to enjoy Christmas, then that's really, really special for me as well. And that's really great. And I'm so pleased I got to share that with my mum today, which was lovely. Um, which is really, really lovely. It means the world to me. But of course, that was really lovely with my granddad this morning, lying, uh, attending to his uh, grave and having a lovely time with my nan today and really, really getting my nan to understand and know um, was amazing. And then after that, we've done loads and loads of Christmas shopping for different uh, where my nan actually is. There's there's lots of all different really nice shopping places around. So we've done lots of Christmas shopping again today, getting food preparations and things ready and sweets and biscuits and chocolates and goodness knows what, which is just amazing, incredible. So that was really, really nice as well. And then we've come home and we've had a really, really lovely dinner, my mum, my dad and myself. And that's just really, really special and lovely. And... And, the, and, it, and it's dark and all the Christmas lights are on with the Christmas tree and it's beautiful, the house is that bit of affection and and it's and it's sleeting outside and it's just incredible and, I, and I've got Christmas music blaring and I've spoken to my brothers and it's just lovely and it's just one of those really lovely times which are, which is it's just really, really nice. It, it really is. So that's my Christmas update. I'm And I've written all my Christmas cards as soon as when I come back and we've had dinner, I've sat and I've got so many Christmas cards and I spend pounds on Christmas cards. Um, never look at the price, always look at the message inside and the picture on the front of them, which is just stunning. And I love that. That's me. Um, and that's lovely. And I always do all my nans as well. I like to carry on my nans tradition and, and I, and I task myself with that because I used to do it with my nan. So I always do it or try to exactly how she would. So I've done all that today and given that to my uncle and, um, and with gifts and things, what she would have done. We always organise that as well. And usually my mum, my uncle and my, and myself do that. And we've done all that and that's sorted and that's lovely. Um, and yeah, it's just a really, really lovely time. So what I'm just going to do, you can probably see from the back here, um, I'm just in the process of sorting out all the gifts which are actually in front of me. I've got a big space in front of me. I've got my laptop in front of me here. And all my gifts I've bought this season are in front of me. And I'm going to do some wrapping in just a moment. And I love boxes and tissue paper and, and just really, really making it like a really, really special, special gift to give. Um, and that's what I love to do. And I probably got a glass of wine as well, <laughs> which is really, really nice. Um, probably I may have a Bailey's after that as well, getting into the Christmas spirit. But yeah, absolutely lovely. So I just wanted to capture that as my Christmas update. And Christmas is so, so special and it's all about family and it's all about those real treasured connections. Um, and yeah, I hope you've had a great day and I hope you're enjoying the festive season. Thank you very, very much for watching this. It means the world to me. And until next time. We will see you then. Merry Christmas.